Well guys, we're still here at IX and I'm really, really delighted to be here, to be honest with you. I've read a few of your guys' comments from the first episode and a lot of you guys seem to think that this is a good project, you know. Go here, um, get into the Champions League, maybe win a couple of more league titles and I'm really happy to do that. Uh, we've brought in some good signings and we're all set for our 500th game, so for Season 12, goodness me, roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2018 and part 1 of season 12 of The Journeyman with Ajax and today we have our 500th game as a manager and also the first game of the season away to FC Twent. So, or 20, I don't know, 20 I'm, I'm going to say. Um, before we get into things, I will just say we did win the uh, Johan Cruyff... Um, trophy or something like that but we will have a look at that in a minute first of all I want to show you the transfers and uh, you know you'll see a lot of them but most of them weren't me a lot of them were the, the head of youth development bringing in um, just some some new players you know you've got Vinkler in there you've got uh, Pish don't even know who these are and Andre Stevens none of them look particularly good but um, you know I'm sure they'll have a, a future at this football club uh, in some some shape or form, they'll be playing for Young I Ajax and, and doing a decent job. This is one that I signed, Giorgi uh, Mirik, who is a 24-year-old Serbian. He's come in from uh, Partizan Belgrade, and you can see that there's there's quite a few attributes that are good there. He's a three-star ability player. He can play on that left-hand side. He's had a good few years at Partizan Belgrade, so I think that's a good sign and just a little bit of backup for us, really. Uh, this is another one, Niels Willems. He's uh, another one that the, the head of youth development brought in. This is another one I brought, Hassan Selebi, um, who is a 24-year-old Turk, and uh, he's got, again, some good attributes. Um, I've just seen a light flicker. Very interesting indeed. It's quite worrying because it's me uh, sort of back lamp. But hopefully um, hopefully that was nothing. But if you see me face go dark, you know why. Um, so yeah, he's got some good attributes. He's come in from Istanbul. And I think he's quite a good player. He's looked like a good player over the years. He's, he's again, a bit of backup for our central midfield roles. And then a couple of more experienced signings. I've seen them on the, the free transfer list and couldn't resist, really. Paul Pogba has come in, 35 years old these days, has still got monstrous uh, attributes and has won everything there is to win with Man United, including, I think, five consecutive Premier League titles now. Absolutely crazy what he's achieved in 345 appearances for Man United, scoring a ton of goals, a ton of assists and a ton of very, very good average ratings. He comes in as our best midfielder, along with Hassan Salebi and Amrabat. Um, and he's he's going to be a good player, Paul Pogba, only on 25k a week. I thought that was a no-brainer. We've also brought in Bernardo Silva, because uh, we couldn't get Raheem Sterling. He wanted to be a director of football along with a player. We've got, as one of our promises, that we've got to keep the director of football in. So I thought an ample replacement is Bernardo Silva. He's got some, again, terrific statistics. Um, he's uh, still got a little bit of pace. He's been in Chelsea the last few years. Obviously started at Man City and has had some disgusting seasons in the Premier League, really. Um, and, and hopefully he can bring that over to the Eredivisie. <laughs> Um, but no, uh, another good sign I would say. And Trevor Lake is our final one. He's a 20-year-old Dutch um, player for Paris Saint-Germain. Just a bit of defensive cover. He looks pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, played at the, the in the Eredivisie uh, a couple of times, actually. He's been at AZ Alkmaar a couple of times over the last few years and seems to do all right. So, yeah, that is that. Let's have a look at pre-season. That has been spiffing as well we've had some 
uh, testimonials and and the Johan the whole Johan Cruyff shall we won it. It was nil nil. It was a very boring game, but we won on penalties quite convincingly. We scored every single one of our penalties, and and we and we got through it, which was the main thing. We've got another trophy, which is great. If we have a look at our profile, you can now see we're three and a half star uh, reputation. We've got some really good uh, attributes here, here and there. We've now got good uh, Dutch uh, language about us, which is it's really nice to see. Uh, we have applied for a few jobs over the summer, as it was Europe uh, European Championship. Yeah, meaning that the the bigger clubs did come up. Uh, we're still in the running for the the Juventus job. We were favourite for the Real Madrid job at one point, but we never got interviewed. Very weird. Um, and a lot of the clubs have still turned us down. In the strength of the no, in light of the strength of the other candidates that have applied. But who cares? Um, Juventus was still in for that job, but. It's something like it might go to this guy who's in charge of Benfica, which is another interesting one. Would we be able to, to maybe go there, have a couple of good seasons in Portugal? And, and I've seen a lot of Benfica managers step up to the likes of Bayern Munich, Juventus, etc. So that could be a good stepping stone. So let's have a look at how we're going to play. We're still going to stick with a 4-2-3-1. Why wouldn't we? It's, it's been a very successful tactic for us so far um, at, at Ajax and I'm confident that it'll continue to be. We've still got Ion in goal with Perez, Caltecar, Mejri and Oliveira in an unchanged back five. We've then got Pogba and Celebi in midfield with Bernardo Silva, Mokhtar and Cassiera behind Paul Glatzel up top. I think I am going to swap these round though and maybe play him as an ad... I mean, we've got three advanced playmakers now. Hmm. Maybe we change his role to an inside forward on attack. I think that would be good. Um, and maybe play him as a deep line playmaker on support. I think that would suit uh, Paul Pogba a little bit more. So Paul Glatzel will start up front as well, who um, hasn't had any interest over the summer. You know, we had that typical press conference question, oh, he's got a 10 million release clause, are you looking forward to, or are you looking to sign a new contract so you can keep him? And just nobody's come in and bought him, which is insane really, and hopefully he'll score a hat-trick today to prove his right. But come on Ajax, let's go. And start our title defence in the in the right manner. You know, FC20 are a good side, former winners of the uh, Eredivisie as well. Um, and, and certainly a, a European football contender in this league. I'm not sure they're, they're really title contenders anymore. But um, they're certainly going to be there, thereabouts. And, uh, and, a, and a team that I've even been interested in managing the last few years. And... Um, they're not, they're not going to be pushovers today. So I think a good, solid performance today. Maybe getting three points on the board, scoring a couple of goals. That'll ease our concerns from maybe that Johan Cruyff game where we didn't really create a lot. Here's Bernardo Silva, though. Gets it forward to Paul Glatzel. Can he get it back in? He can. And Mokhtar! That should have been 1-0. It wasn't. And alas, it's still 0-0. Is healed there now to Zach. Zach on the ball to Stephen for the Admiral. Oh, good save by Ion. That was close. That was really close. Hendricks now into the middle. Held there. Good tackle by Mejri. Very good tackle. Now here's Admiral. <laughs> Ion away to Kalatakar. Now to Mejri. To Paul Pogba, forward to Mokhtar. Now Paul Glatzel loses it. De Vries, now to Steven. Now to Admiral. Admiral on the ball. Ooh, Pirias gets it though. Here's Bernardo Silva now to Mokhtar. Paul Pogba. Mokhtar gets it forward towards Paul Glatzel. Is he going to lose it again? He's going alone. That's a good save. <laughs> that was an insane move by Paul Pogba. But a good save by the goalkeeper. On reflection. Here's Pogba. Ooh. Zach. Zach now on the ball. Zach still on the ball. Ooh, good save by Ion. And 
to be fair, we haven't been the overwhelming better team here. I'd say we've probably shaded it just, but uh, FC20 are, are definitely going to pose us a problem today, and we need to score that first goal of our season and just relieve ourselves a little bit because we, we just seem to be under a lot of pressure. Here's Helder. Helder on the ball now to Steven. Steven gets it wide Admiral. Now to Zach. Zach on the ball to Defritez. Now to whoever that was. It's away. Here's Glatzel. Get it wide to Bernardo Silva, mate. Please get it wide to Bernardo Silva. Glatzel. And it's Bernardo Silva hits the post. Oh my word, that should have been 1 0. We've had two really guilt edge chance guilt edge chan guilt edge chances in this first half. Just just check that this water isn't actually vodka. Uh, Seem to be slurring me speech a, a little bit. <laughs> he has Zach on the ball. Zach forward. Good tackle. It's Admiral. It's 1 0. It's 1 0 FC 20. And Anvar Admiral has made it 1 0. <sighs> That's really annoying. Really, really annoying. Oh. 1 0. Boo. Barama gets it away. Now towards Admiral. Good header by Cassier, um, Oliveira to Cassiera. Now to Fritas. Now Zach. Come on. Just get the tackle in there. Come on, boys. This is just poor. Really poor. And it's concerning. You know, we, we started off so well at Ajax. I'm not convinced... You know, the last few matches of the season, we were at our best. And potentially, we've gone down a bit. But here's Mokhtar. Forward to Cassiera. Chance to ease our worries. And he does. Matteo Cassiera with our first goal of the season. Oh, boy, we needed that. And what a finish by Matteo. I think he himself is about 34 years old now. It was a lovely ball forward by... Um, Mokhtar and a really good finish from Cassiera and what all come on coming into half time now we'll give them the good old Hanard Rolligan and see how they cope with that I'm sure they'll be fine <laughs> um, yeah let's just be really aggressive with them I expect much better in this second half or maybe bring on um, couple of players from the bench uh, oh here's Zach though we don't want it to be 2-1 good tackle by Mesri and again he's had a really good game Admiral now Zach Oliveira gets it away here's Glatzel Glatzel's been disappointing today he really has been just hasn't looked as threatening as he usually does Mokhtar Mokhtar again here's Paul Glatzel and that's just wide. I thought he was going to prove us wrong there. Apparently he's playing a 7.1. Bernardo Silva really not having a good game. Here's Oliveira. Now Pogba. Oliveira. Pogba. Now Mokhtar to Glatzel. Glatzel forward to Hassan. And uh, that's again annoying. I think we are going to bring off Hassan. Um... The problem is we do have a little bit of an injury crisis at the moment as well. That is something uh, to, to bear in mind. Um, Silva's going to come off. We'll put Cassiera on that right-hand side. He can do that. And we'll bring on Zimic or Z Z Zmirik. Zmirik. So we've brought on two fresh faces. And we'll see how they do. Barama gets it away. Can Mejri get ahead on it? He can Here's Vanberg though, and Admiral now. Admiral on the ball to Zach. Oof. Too close. Too close. 60 minutes gone now. Gonna demand some more from them. How is Paul Glatzel playing a 7.4? He's, he's in danger of actually getting man of the match here. Um, mm, Zmirik was maybe a, a mistake. Who can we bring on? I mean, do we take Glatzel off? Maybe we do. Maybe we put Cassiera up top. That sounds like a good idea to me. We'll put Cassiera up top as a complete forward. We'll bring Joaquin uh, Torres on, on that right-hand side. 
We'll bring Glatzel off and, and hopefully this will be the catalyst in a victory. Here's Eiting. Gets it forward now to Cassiera, who we've just moved up front. He moves it wide to Zmirik now to Mokhtar. Mokhtar gets it forward. It's Torres. It's in, but it's offside. Oh, how annoying is that? Ten minutes to go now. Come on, boys. Come on. Fluid. Oliveira. Now Mokhtar. Mokhtar gets it wide. It's away. Here's Zach. Mm. Just looking a bit sloppy. And I don't know whether it's because they're just not um, quite playing as a team yet. But here's Cassiera. Cassiera continues. Oh, he hits the post. What a save by Berahama there, though. It has to be said. I've got three minutes to do something in this match. But I guess we will take the 1-1 draw on the opening day of the season. Away to one of the top sides in the division. But we really should be expecting better. <sighs> Here's Lorero forward. Now Admiral on the ball. Stiansen, but that is full time. It is one all. Urgh. Annoying, but at least we got a point out of it. At least we didn't get off to the worst possible start and we got a goal in at Cassiera. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really, really does help out the channel and it means a lot to me as well. So please leave that like if you have enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.